I keep thinking of two kind of special quotes. They're short, don't worry. <laughs> One is from The Sound of Music about uh, nothing comes from nothing that I never could. So somewhere in my youth or childhood, I must have done something good. And I think my uh, siblings would agree. Uh, whatever your philosophy is, you, you have to wonder somewhere. It came from somewhere. We were especially privileged. And also, there's a line from Gilbert and Sullivan that I love. I've written it on a lot of people's wedding cards. But it talks about, uh, from today and ever after, may your tears be tears of laughter. Every sigh that finds a vent be a sigh of sweet content. That's how it's been. <laughs> I'll introduce people, my sister Margot, Brother Phil, Brother Bill, and let's see, let's start uh, Cousin Linda, <laughs> Cousin George, yeah, just wave. <laughs> George and wife Jan, and Cousin Jane, and Cousin Paul, and I'm sorry? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Who else are we going to be? Cousin Ed. Oh, yes, of course. Cousin Ed. <laughs> With <Good>. me. <laughs> <laughs> we should say perhaps uh, these are mom's side of the family from beloved brothers and a beloved sister. Uh, we do recognize dad's side of the family. Unfortunately, we lost our aunt, daddy's uh, brother's wife, uh, within the past week or so. But um, I'm not much happier though. We are here to celebrate a long life marriage from which we've obviously benefited. And I will pass this on in my siblings, anything they wish to say. I was just going to introduce our grandchildren too. I guess um, they're mom and dad's grandchildren. Eric and Roger, where are you? Oh, first grandson, Eric, stand up, honey. His wife, Alyssa. <laughs> and our second son, Roger. Eric's in Tulsa with Melissa, and Roger's in Garfield, Arkansas, not Arizona, like the old girl just said. <laughs> and Olivia, Phil's daughter, Phil and Janet's daughter from California, is here taking up pictures. Um, I've got a real short poem that I modified from one I wrote for Mom and Dad's anniversary last year. <laughs> On this notable anniversary in all of recorded history, the best marriage per chance is the first one of Willis and Francis. Each life it truly enhances as time quickly advances. With devotion and pleasure aplenty, happy years add up to 70. Their first date on 18 November was one to always remember. Engaged on the 1st of June, they wanted to marry soon. Will sang, I love you, Francie, <laughs> a lot. That's a family theme song. Sincerely, but nothing too fancy. When Fran married Willis, they found what a thrill is. <laughs> It wasn't long till their family began when Will, when, with first daughter, Frances Diane. When Will had the war in Europe won, he came home and they had Margot Yvonne. <laughs> July 48th, they welcomed twin boys, Bill and Phil, to add to their joys. Two girls and two boys, that's pretty neat. Three years agreed, the family's complete. Years filled with work and family vacations, special events calling for celebration. Reunions, parties, and multiple graduations, everyone enjoying the commemorations. Willis and Fran have a true love story. They model marriage full in its glory. Their lives with ours intertwine. We're proud of these parents of mine. <laughs>
during World War II, Mom and Pop wrote to each other every day. And uh, Mom had kept those letters from Pop for many decades in a cardboard box. And uh, about five years ago, we started transcribing those, and we sent those letters to Mom again via email, day for day, uh, for about a year and a half. So Mom once again was hearing from Pop from World War II, and uh, it was just an amazing story for all of us. Pop couldn't talk a lot about where he was during the war, but he talked about the miraculous recovery of Pop's brother Don, who had been taken uh, prisoner of war at the beginning of the Battle of the Bulge, was lost, and uh, uh, nobody knew if he was alive, but he was uh, found. Uh, actually by people very close to Pop's unit uh, in 1945, about three months, uh, it was close to Easter time, Good Friday, uh, Easter time. And um, so we got to relive all of those experiences again as a family. So uh, it was uh, kind of a, a very uh, emotional and uh, 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 again to bring the family together with these uh, memories of Mom and Pop and their wartime experience.